hello and welcome today I'm going to show you how you can install the software uh, crackles of the posting software as you can see you should be in this window where it explains you everything about the software so here ha you have 26 different modules that you will be able to use and here basically you have a trial mod so after you make your payment you will fill out this information your name your paypal name to uh, to verify your payment your username password and uh, the categories that you want to use um, after your five day trial if you want to continue using the software you will go to the monthly plan so you click there and you make your payment and then you can continue using the program if you have any questions visit our frequent ask it questions so here uh, what we're going to do to install it after you fill out this information this form uh, you will receive an email uh, giving you the information to download the software which basically is going to be a link like this uh, when you open it you should go to cracklist and basically you click the download button um, so here on Mediafire I'm going to download the file I'm going to click save and I'm going to click OK this is going to be saved on my computer so I'm just going to open it so I click on the file and this is the copy or this is the file that I need to transfer so I have a folder here that I'm going to transfer the software to I open it there and once the software is here I'm just going to open it just to explain you a little bit what this is all about here you have back page profiles you have some images where the images will be stored when you post onto cracklist some profiles for cracklist uh, if you have proxies you can put it there inside you have different proxies there um, also um, this is the SQL attached database here is where all the cities of the uh, cracklist uh, posting are saved so you can uh, use that as a database this file here cracklist auto posting is the main software so you can right click on that and send a short uh, create a shortcut for your desktop so you can open it directly from there so here you have some installation instructions and here you have the manual so I'm going to open the manual just to show you a little bit about it so on the manual uh, you will see different things there uh, I'm going to show you the part here so the for the installing the, the software you need to install a small version Microsoft SQL Server Express so you need to check what type of computer do you have so to do that you open your computer and then you go to uh, this PC right click and you click properties uh, here I have a 64 operative system so I'm going to go on the manual and I'm going to go on to the next section so here in the next section it says download accordingly to your computer this is the link that I'm going to download the 64 versions this is to install the SQL server that is going to allow me to uh, work with the database so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it on my browser this is going to be downloaded on my computer I click save and once it's saved I'm going to open it and, go and I'm going to install it so since I already have it installed, I don't need to install it anymore, but I'm just going to guide you through the instructions. So on the, on the navigation, you have the URL that you type, and then you click save. Once it's saved, it's going to be saved on your downloads. You, s you can see the file, SQL download file, and then you click uh, run. This is going to ask you to install it. You click next you accept the terms and conditions of the license you click next then you click install you are going to wait until the installation uh, folder has finished and then you click finish after this you can start using the, the software so because I already installed it I'm going to open this 
and I'm going to uh, open the software so once it's up once it's once it's open I'm going to open it and basically um, I have this uh, software that allow me to uh, start posting on Craigslist or allow me to do a scraping on different uh, and different sites allow me to do postings or for Facebook for Craigslist uh, and different things uh, you have different modules here as well uh, you have the section where you can add cities to Craigslist. Uh, you can watch my video on how to do that. And you have here uh, submit a ticket. If you have any problem, just fill it out, and it's, this is going to send me an email where I will be able to help you. So now that I'm here on onto this Craigslist uh, software, I'm going to go to posting and I'm going to click Craigslist. So it's going to open the interface where I'm going to be able to post. So this is going to show you how you can set up your account. Here on this account, I have uh, a profile uh, profile account. So this is like a test. So you just select the profile that you want. The if you have different profiles, you will have different accounts to post onto different cities or to post with different accounts on correctly. So I select the city uh, the profile that I want and I click show. This is going to fill out my contact name, my phone, uh, my email, um, the accounts for Craigslist that I'm going to use. Now, if I change this, uh, I'm going to change it from the accounts that I want to use. And then I'm going to click Save. I can click the profile here and I will put my name uh, profile for account uh, number one. And I click Save. That is going to save the profile here. And after that, whenever I want to access the information again, I just click there and I select my new profile. As you can see, it fill out everything. Now I'm going to go to my ads. I I have here some ads. I can create a new ad. You just fill out the title, the body, the location. I have uh, more than 200 cities where you can post. You can select the sub location. If it has a neighborhood, you fill it out the postal code, um, you fill out the ad and then you click save. Uh, once you have many ads here save it. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come back here, you're going to select your profile, you're going to click clean cookies before login. This means that every time it's going to make a post, it's going to clean the cookie so it can log in again with, a, uh, with the account without thinking that you post many times with different accounts. So I want to use three accounts, so I select this is just two accounts, and I select this just three accounts. So after that, uh, I'm going to set up the times where I want to start posting. Uh, just set up your times. I have it for uh, one hour in between from nine to five. So just set up your times to the time that it's best uh, for your uh, posting uh, campaign. So after that's done, I just click start posting you will see here that it changed to running and I have the time here so whenever this uh, time uh, matches one of these uh, hours uh, the software is going to start posting by itself and basically it's going to go to the browser and you will be able to see the different posting here so after it create after it posts one ad of this one uh, after that is posted uh, what is going to happen is that uh, the, 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 the software is going to renew two ads from your list of ads and you will get more ads there. You can add images and you can change the, the things and also it has something called spin syntaxes. That means that, uh, for example, if I choose this ad, uh, I'm going to use it and this ad is going to have a different uh, name here uh, for example uh, I have uh, different titles here so if I click a spin syntaxis every time I put uh, a new ad it's going to have a different title uh, here a spin, a spin text and you will have a different title over, uh, over here so okay I'm going to just open it again 
So now that you have a different title there, um, you will uh, just wait until the software posts every hour uh, you're at and you just let it run until it's finished and you will have your ads posted so this means that uh, you will have a lock here where it's going to tell you at what time the ad was posted so this is the small introduction on how you will install the software and how you will start working with it I hope uh, it's easy to follow if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact me uh, to get the software, if you don't have, if you haven't uh, paid the trial, you can just go to the link in the in the description below, and you will be able to to get this software. So thank you very much uh, for watching this video. I hope that you have a very nice day. Please subscribe to this video. Uh, to, um, like the video and share it with your friends. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.